All right, I had to close the door because uh, Zara was actually, uh, let me turn this light on. Zara was actually um, watching her trolls, so, uh, you know, it was a little bit loud. But anyhow, I want to do a quick video uh, that is kind of talking about what we're hoping to do. You know, I mentioned, um, I don't know, a few videos ago. It's been a while because we haven't actually done any videos in a bit. But uh, I put in a video that we are going to go to, what is it, Milwaukee? So um, Noelle's job basically has it where she has to go to different universities. You've probably seen a video uh, that showed her up in Marysville, I believe, possibly at one of the universities. So her job is basically to go there and to understand campus experiences and, <clears throat> excuse me, best practices and things like that. So um, that is what she has been doing, and uh, she's been doing pretty good with that. But now she actually has to take a trip to um, by plane. Most of everything she's done before uh, up until this point has been just by driving to wherever she has to go, uh, down to Portland, or mainly in this state, that type of thing. So now it is uh, heading over to um, Wisconsin. So that should be interesting. We've never been to Milwaukee. I've never been to Wisconsin at all, none of us. <clears throat> so it's going to be an experience. It's going to give us a chance to see how Zeta is going to act on a plane. This is her first time being on an airplane. So I don't know, honestly, how she's going to do. The other two have been flying forever. So Zoe has been all over the place uh, by plane. So she's obviously used to it. She's much older now. Uh, so even when she was a baby, it wasn't a big deal. Sometimes babies on planes, man, it is difficult because all they do is scream. Um, Zara, she was on a plane a lot as a baby, too. And we're talking only a few months old. Uh, she was on a plane a lot. And um, she did okay as well. No issues. Now she's five, so really it's not a big deal. Zeta, on the other hand, first time she's ever been on a plane. And she's going to not even be two years old. So she's starting off much later in terms of travel uh, by plane. But hopefully she's at that spot where she's old enough to where it won't be too much of an issue. But I have seen kids around that two-age mark where it's just chaos so anyhow it's going to be our first trip which should, should be coming up soon and then we are heading back home to kentucky and indiana so we're going to be pretty busy it's going to be nashville bowling green kentucky so nashville tennessee bowling green kentucky then indianapolis indiana we're making that big long trek through i-65 and so to visit family and that type of thing we're supposed to go to a wedding there but they had changed the date on us and then of course we had already booked the tickets so it's like well you didn't tell us so <laughs> we, I mean it's like I can't go now you know because we have to work around really Noel's schedule so that's kind of the way that it is but again that would be our second time this year on a plane with Lil Zeta we're plan of course I had mentioned I'm going to Haiti next year I think Noel's wanting to go to Haiti too um, she's been really talking about it. She wants to actually go check it out. I have a lot of business things to do there. Um, so, you know, I think that every day that goes by, she's wanting to definitely pursue it. Uh, I'm going to be trying to learn uh, Haitian Creole soon. It's just important just to be able to communicate with everybody a lot easier. French would be per maybe easier. I don't know. But either or, uh, folks there know both. Uh, generally, so that's what I'm going to be focused on. Also focused on a um, potential new business uh, idea later this year. I'm going to try it out and see. Probably won't know much about results until probably early next year even. Uh, but going to try that late this year, see what happens. Uh, and I'll keep you guys informed about it uh, as time goes on and what I'm hoping to do. Other than that, we've been pretty good. Just been working a lot. Noelle has been on and off. Really, all of us has been sick on and off. Uh, she um, 
what is so after I you know took the branch to the eye uh, Noelle was just like really really sick and she was saying like oh you know I think it's my sinus and I'm like it's not you know it's not like allergies and stuff like that which she thought it was um, I said because you know I've been sick like I took like three or four allergy pills nothing I mean literally I loaded up on them nothing so I said I woke up the next day and I'm still just like as bad as I was and so she thought it was that and then she took allergy pills and realized no she's really sick she's been working pretty much non-stop like last weekend she worked on Saturday so not only did she work on Monday a full day she worked all all week basically um, a full day so the only day she had off which was yesterday Sunday and what does she do she was also working as well here at the house doing stuff so she really hasn't had a day off and she's been sick too so it's like you know we're ready for a vacation I think that this year we're going to handle all the stuff we have to handle and deal with in terms of like you know because the travel to Milwaukee is basically a business thing and then the travel back home is cool and all but it's like it's not a it's a vacation but it's not a vacation you know like to me a vacation is you know tropical trees and you know sand and ocean water and you know little drinks with little umbrellas in it that to me is a vacation so um, we're looking forward to that relatively soon there's a lot of cool resort resorts a lot of cool resorts in Haiti believe it or not that are really really nice a lot of people think Haiti is such a poor country and it is but there's a lot of really, really, really nice hotels and resorts in Haiti. Some of which look by far better than what even Seattle has. Um, you know, they do have, and of course you're going to be paying a lot, but they do have some really high-end five-star type resorts. So, not that we're going to be doing any of that. But we do want to go to an actual resort there, uh, bring the kids along, have them experience that, uh, and see what happens. We don't know what the future is going to hold uh, in terms of like business and jobs and stuff like that. But um, that's kind of what we're hoping to do. Uh, we've been, like I said, pretty busy. Been off YouTube for a bit because we've just been saturated. Like when I say we've been busy, you know it's pretty bad. Whenever I hardly ever get on here, but. Anyhow, that's pretty much going to be it. It's been raining for the last little bit as well. Sun will come out every now and again, but actually a few days ago, it snowed that morning. You know, it was morning that it actually snowed, and all the cars were covered. Uh, the street was clear, but basically the grass was covered, which is kind of shocking because typically in March, I know a lot of places in the country has gotten snow, but here typically there's no snow at that time. Um, so yeah, we had planted, you know, the weekend that I got this, we had planted, did some landscaping around some of our bushes and stuff like that, put seeds in the ground, and literally a few days later, it was like heavy frost and stuff like that, then there was the snow, and so it just sucks. But anyhow, a lot of the plants that we actually have that, uh, I don't know what they're called, Noelle would know what the name is, but basically they've come up, they've bloomed, they look great. We have some more that's coming up. They look great. Every year I mow them down because I'm like, oh, mm. I thought that they had been here since we've lived here. I thought they were just weeds, so I've just been mowing them down. But they come back, and um, so those are doing pretty good. So hopefully the seeds are going to be good. Our little chickens in the back are getting pretty big and hefty. Uh, we're going to have to decide what we're going to do with the roosters, either give them away or eat them. Uh, not really sure what we're going to do in terms of that. Uh, but that's been it. Haven't even gotten the fire pit done. I started working on the bottom portion of the fire pit, basically putting the bricks in place, uh, and then just got busy and just haven't been able to. Um, I had to do the front yard thing. I didn't have to, but I wanted to get that done. Um, because then once it gets so hot here, it's like I don't even want to mess with it. And of course, we're going to be traveling a lot. So I wanted to get the front yard part done. Uh, and then I can focus more on the back. Uh, so I'm going to try to get that taken care of either this weekend or maybe even next weekend. Uh, so we'll see. 
and back up a little bit, Noelle was supposed to do a live video yesterday, but of course that didn't happen. She was a little bit busy doing other stuff, but hopefully we can get a live video up soon. Hopefully we can do another Cooking with Noe video that it's been forever in a day since so she's done a Cooking with Noe video. Um, I have a video that will be coming up on Thursday that talks about some stuff going on in Tacoma in terms of this uh, new project that the city is hoping to happen. Uh, and I think it's going to be pretty amazing. It's a huge game changer for Tacoma when it does happen. It's not an if, it's when it does happen. So anyhow, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that I'm rambling, but until next time, I will see you. Take care.